Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to start. Good evening, new members and guests, ladies and gentlemen, new members and honored guests. I'm Chloe Brandt from the Golden Key International Honor Society. Welcome to this virtual Golden Key New Members Recognition Ceremony. Golden Key is the world's largest international collegiate honor society, and we are very pleased to have a chapter here at Rhodes University. I'd like to personally congratulate each and every one of you on the hard work and effort you put in to be where you are today. Congratulations once again. Golden Key was established in Southern Africa in 2000, and we welcome you to our society. I hope that you will share in our goals of recognizing academic achievement, promoting leadership and serving our community. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the Director of Golden Key in Southern Africa. The South African office staff have worked with our chapter to maintain the standards of the society and to help us uphold the mission of Golden Key. We're pleased to have them here tonight. So please welcome Dr. Almi Kasserman to deliver the greetings from Golden Key. Thank you. Regardless of where you are watching me from, from the smallest shack to the biggest house, on a phone, on a tablet or a computer, it is a special privilege for me to reach you. Greetings to you all. This is a virtual ceremony intended for the new members of the Golden Key International Honor Society based in Southern Africa and to their loved ones watching with them. This is my welcome to you all. It is about 10 minutes long, and in it, I want to acknowledge your achievement, tell you more about Golden Key, and give you some motivation for this unprecedented time, but also for the rest of your academic career. What an extraordinary time this is for us to meet. Amid the coronavirus pandemic, we are having to reevaluate many priorities in our lives, and we have to keep innovating. This virtual ceremony is one way in which we are doing just that. So let us begin. On behalf of the Board of Directors, the International Headquarters, and the Southern African Office, welcome to this online new member recognition ceremony. Accredited higher education institutes in Southern Africa are universities dedicated to quality education through academic innovation, research, and most importantly, student engagement. It strives for excellence and recognizes the achievements of students like yourselves, values we as Golden Key hold dear. First, who am I? Well, my name is Elmi and I have the great pleasure of leading Golden Key in Southern Africa. And I am here with a pleasant mandate to formally congratulate you on being inducted into the Golden Key International Honor Society. I want you to know that membership to this society is quite something. Even before COVID-19 hit us, Less than 10% of our population ever got the chance to go to university, and less than 5% get a degree. Meanwhile, you have been performing in the top 15% in your faculty. This is an extraordinary achievement, and therefore we must celebrate it and acknowledge you, even amid the new and important health measures taken by our government. As a member of Golden Key, you are now given a place, a platform, where you can connect with like-minded students and like-minded performers, not just in South Africa, but across the world. If you are an active member, you will gain excellent exposure 
and gain in direct proportion to your involvement. I'm going to talk about what this means in a minute. But quickly, what is Golden Key? Well, it is the world's largest honor society, founded in 1977 at Georgia State University in the United States. Golden Key's aims are simple, to recognize and encourage academic achievement and to connect brilliant minds across the world. Today, you join a global network of over 2.4 million members from about 400 universities worldwide. Your lifetime membership allows you to access countless opportunities, including sponsorship, broadening your networks, developing leadership skills, potential access to research funding, community service opportunities, and career development. So can Golden Key help you? I hope that the answer is yes. As Golden Key, our mission is to enable our members to realize their potential by connecting achievement with service and lifelong opportunity. Let me repeat, to enable our members to realize their potential by connecting individual achievement with service and lifelong opportunity. And let's visit each of these, academics, leadership and community service in turn. Number one, the academic dimension. Your university is now in the process of migrating online or has maybe done the entire transition already. You must keep performing. I would encourage you to figure out what you have to do to keep doing well in your subject field and how to make yourself completely familiar with it. In particular, master the jargon, learn the histories and read your socks off. Learn to focus an ability that's rare in this new world of social media, wearables and showmax. Master your field by practicing over and over again to focus on one thing and do it exceptionally well. It is people who have honed their skills, who can focus ruthlessly, who make the real difference in society, regardless of whether they catch the limelight or not. They do this through excellence or innovation in research or just by doing their job really well. This is true whatever your field. Finding ways to focus on your immediate academic tasks and doing them well opens the door to solving bigger challenges and eventual global level innovation. But we begin intellectually at home in your field studying for next week's test online, I guess. So that's point one. Do you have what it takes to dominate your subject area. Pillar two, leadership. Leading begins in the literal sense at home. Now we've all been spending quite a bit of time at home during this lockdown. And I think we've all rediscovered in new ways how real leadership is not being in front, right? It is being there. In a crisis like this, we focus not on the things we cannot control, but on the many things we can control, to understand problems, to listen, to evaluate, to revise one's own opinions, to strategize, and then to help execute or inspire others to do so. This means leading by example. Even just in washing hands, keeping social distances, adhering to health officials' guidance, and regularly checking reputable sources such as the World Health Organization's website. Of course, the flexibility of leadership is exactly why we are doing this ceremony virtually. Anyway, I hope we can agree that part of our challenge in South Africa is that many want to be in front but few want to make a hard journey 
of being there. So be not so much inspired by those we see on TV than by your parents, your community, those who have been there for you and who have made it possible for you to be here. Be like them. This is, by the way, how we learn Ubuntu, not from books, but through connectedness to our families and communities. That's point two. Lead because you love. Don't lead because you want love. So pillar number three, community service. Yes, we begin at home, both in terms of academic fields and in terms of where we must lead. Only then we think about social change. As scholar, you must ask yourself with serious intent, how can my academic and leadership qualities help build a better post-corona world? This is how you begin to connect your own passions to actual improving the world. And by the way, maybe your impact the world, you discover some cure, or you shift the discourse on decoloniality, or some important subject. But it's okay to make the world better just by stepping into your profession. I mean, it is okay to believe that you will be a good accountant and do excellent audits. We need good accountants, just as we need excellent vets and anthropologists and coders and farmers and writers and architects and clergy and food technologists and engineers. Maybe you just want to be a good, profitable, ethical employer, and that's fine too. As for Golden Key, we want to help you with each of those pillars, academically by recognizing your successes, leadership by offering opportunities to be there, to connect, to listen, to guide and organize, and community service to share, to serve, to lend a hand. We hope that you will be active in each dimension. And of course, your learning, leading, and community orientation never stops. Golden Key Southern Africa espouses the idea of continuous professional development. Wherever you are, be sure to see yourself on a lifelong journey of development, becoming the best you can be as your field, your skills, and your community changes throughout your life. I end by thanking the excellent leadership in our universities. I want to thank the committee members in particular for making this society what it is. They volunteered to be student leaders and worked very hard to help build Golden Key. Then there are also the chapter advisors who has dedicated much time, guidance and expertise to this society. We are very thankful. Finally, since we're in the business of making bold statements, let me end with one more. In a previous life, I was the Group Chief Operating Officer of a large organization, and I had a policy that any staff member, from the executives to the juniors, could email me directly, especially if they had an innovative idea about the future of the organization. I want to extend this to you today. If you have an idea for the Golden Key International Honor Society, something you are passionate about and maybe have discussed with one other friend during daylight hours, I would encourage you to mail me. And I look forward to hearing from you. I end with an extraction from the charge of the Golden Key International Honor Society. Be a person of good character, upholding high moral and ethical standards. Let honesty and fairness guide your every decision and excellence rule your every action. In this way, you and society will prosper. Good luck for your journey. I thank you for joining us in this ceremony.
Let us give Dr. Kasamin a hand. The they made the commitment to be active members of the society, and I'd like to use this opportunity to recognize them for their dedication and service to the society. Chapter officers, Benita Benza, President, Chidomuza, Vice President, Mezani Makura, Treasurer, Marang Muntwidi, Secretary, Ashley Mungati, Service Director, Unopam Tetwa, Campus Outreach and Media, Tinotenda Mazongunda, Campus Outreach and Media, Tatenda Nau, Fundraising Director, Fuyani Tutwani, Professional Development Director, Tanaka Parawira, Community Engagement Officer, Ashley Brand, General Committee Member, Asake Lana. General Committee Member. I encourage each of you to consider being an officer or an active member. Please contact your chapter. This is the moment you have all been waiting for. This is the moment you have all been waiting for. At this time, we would like to recognize all our new members for their outstanding academic achievements. Our chapter has made every effort to register and accurately recognize our new members here today. We apologize in advance for any mispronunciations or omissions. Esha Wood Kayla, Botha Tanya, Baba Yonela, Fleming Kestu, Fori M, Hain Philippa, Kets Limon, Corey Catherine, Kuma Lombali, Lebuho Lirato, Lutuli Nomalanga, Makalam Lona, Masava Sande, Makwata Kesha, Mes Nike, Mieza Bongani, Njona Muhomoti, Perfect Christine, Richardson Perrin, Tladi Remufi, Kirsten van der Nen. Please join us in congratulating these new members of Golden Key International Honor Society. Being a newly inducted member of Golden Key International Honor Society means you will live by our charge. The charge. You are now being inducted as a member of Golden Key International Honor Society. Your selection to Golden Key was based on that which you have accomplished. Membership in Golden Key is a privilege and an honor which brings with it certain responsibilities. Endeavor to maintain and promote high standards of academic achievement. Serve as leaders among your peers, as seekers of wisdom. The purpose of a university education is to enrich you as a person. More than the accumulation of facts, it is an integration of all your experience in a determined learning process. Be a person of good character, upholding high moral and ethical standards. Let honesty and fairness 
guide your every decision and excellence through your every action. In this way, you and society will prosper. Make a commitment to support the activities of God and Key. Your leadership, organizational, and communication skills will be refined, and new friendships will be gained. Through you, our chapter can contribute in a very tangible way to the well being of this university. The key holder is a leader, but the greatest leader is the greatest servant. As a member of God and Key International Honor Society, you have chosen to live as a seeker of wisdom with a lifestyle of service. You have demonstrated your ability. Now, fulfill your potential. I'd like to thank you for attending, and I challenge each member to involve yourselves in society activities. Remember, nothing will come your way unless you take the necessary actions. This includes applying for scholarships and awards, developing your leadership skills by serving as a chapter officer and committing yourselves to community service. Visit www.goldenkey.org for more information. Keep your email address updated. Golden Key communicates directly to you via email and the South African office will inform you on behalf of our corporate partners about career and any other opportunities. Once again, congratulations and welcome to Golden Key. We have come to the closure of our ceremony. Thank you so much for joining us.